Hey guys, once again welcome to our channel. Hopefully you guys are doing great. In today's video, we'll be dealing with a new concept and as you can suggest by the video's thumbnail that the concept that we have taken for today's video will be osmosis. Uh, it's a biological concept that we have to be clear, we have to be aware of. Um, some new things will be introduced here and uh, I know that to the beginners who are doing IGCSEs, uh, it will be a new chapter for them. Who are learning uh, biology and um, the chapter name is osmosis I have done previously and so without wasting our precious time let's get into the topic yeah so let's see what is osmosis like, like exactly now second okay now all cells are surrounded by a cell membrane which is partially permeable okay now if you see all the cells whether it be a plant cell or animal cell or any type of other type of cell, for example, let's say um, fungi, protoctes or prokaryotes, any type of cell, okay, red blood cells. Um, that will include many of exam many examples of cells that you will be learning further even. So these all cells are surrounded by a cell membrane which is partially permeable. And what is that partially permeable term? Let's see here. This partially permeable means that uh, substances can easily move in in and out of the cell okay through this partially permeable membrane that allows the, some substances to pass through them but not all the substances maybe the larger substances may be uh, restricted their entry might be restricted okay so now what we're going to discuss osmosis is concerned with the water movement this is one thing that you should know okay now water can move in and out of cells by osmosis and why water is necessary that we already know that uh, it almost makes a 70 percent of uh, everyone's life of the planet of the human system and the water is very important that's a short like summary for them okay so water can move in and out of the cells by osmosis this water necessary for maybe for um, transporting some mineral ions or you can say transporting some important nutrients that is uh, necessary for the cells okay so what is osmosis by general definition now this definition is very important and you are required to know this for your igcs examinations so by definition osmosis is the diffusion of water molecules from a dilute solution what is dilute solution high concentration of water okay it contains more water molecules compared to uh, the solute molecules okay and it's to a more concentrated solution that is low concentration of water this means there is low concentration of water low less amount of water but more amount of solute across a partially permeable membrane now this definition as i said before is required for your igcc exam so you need to write as it is word to word this definition okay so in doing this water is moving down its concentration gradient now what is this concentration gradient exactly okay so concentration gradient means there is a gradient here like for example on one side of um, this gradient there are many water molecules of higher concentration maybe like this let's say something these are water molecules and you have less water molecules here so there's a concentration gradient it means that there is on one side there's a high concentration of water molecules compared to the other side which has low concentration of water molecules now again we will come to the cell membrane that is partially permeable what does this means now the cell membrane is partially permeable which means it allows small molecules like water through but not larger molecules like solute molecules so um, this is what the role of cell membrane is but not um, exactly but because we'll be learning further also what are the functions of each type of the cell contents but before let's um, clear our queries with this chapter now you can see here example of a partially permeable membrane now you will see that this is a partially permeable membrane and you will see some holes here right these let me just spot it for you uh, you have some holes here and you can see only the small water molecules are passing compared to the large solute molecules. So this is a partially permeable membrane that will allow only small volume, only small water molecules to pass through the membrane, and large molecules, large solute molecules, will be restricted. So I hope you are clear with this as well. Now osmosis. A bit more um, about osmosis. Let's see. Now osmosis. Again, the definition comes here. Uh, 
same definition osmosis is the net movement or you can say diffusion of water molecules from a region of higher water potential but this is more advanced definition here what your IGCSE curriculum your IGCSE syllabus requires you to answer in such a way that you need to use very advanced vocabulary in biology in this chapter and that warning that vocabulary has been given to us what is that osmosis is the net movement of water molecules from a region of higher water potential dilute solution other term for that uh, in this one we learn about higher concentration right that's from a dilute solution okay higher concentration of water but what we can do we are we can use also higher water potential i'll tell you why in the next point this gives a explanation for that okay so well, let's just see this point higher water potential potential that is dilute solution to a region of lower water potential that's a concentrated solution meaning that more water and here uh, less water okay through a partially permeable membrane now why we are using the terms higher water potential and why not um, higher concentration of water why is this so so let's see now it can get a little confusing to talk about the concentration of water when we also talk about the solutions being concentrated okay so these two terms could clash with each other and you might lose this one mark because definitions generally they are like one or two marks they are one or two marks word so so it's uh, very important to be clear to be aware of all the exam tips as well and all the precautions that we can take while answering our uh, question so we can get that uh, so we can secure that proper mark that one mark properly and uh, there's no lack of vocabulary or lack of information in our answer so it can get a little confusing to talk about the concentration of water when we talk also talk about the solutions being concentrated these two terms could clash with each other again having a lot of solute in them but concentrated means having a lot of solutes in them so instead we can say that a dilute solution has a higher water potential okay so we can say like this now this right hand side of the diagram it says that that we'll see in the next slide and a concentrated solution has a lower water potential the left hand side of the diagram below now you will see the diagram here now you can see there is a a proper diagram for this and uh, to clear all your queries all your clarifications let's see that so you can see they have given the diagram and this is a partially permeable membrane this one okay these lines you can see dotted lines and what they're telling us that initially here we have uh, you can say there are more solid molecules less solid molecules but when we are talking about osmosis always i tell that we only talk about the movement of water molecules so let's see now you will see that more water molecules here compared to here right so what is happening exactly that initially there was a higher water potential here but what has happened that the water molecules have um, diffused to the other side to the this side of the uh diagram the left hand side so you can see here exactly the higher water potential was initially we had a higher water potential here but what happened uh, and there was a lower water potential here but what happened is that um, since we know the definition of osmosis in the net movement of water molecules from a dilute solution means more water to a concentrated solution that means less water low water potential so water molecules have moved down this concentration gradient what is the concentration gradient here that's the partial partially permeable membrane you can see this is the concentration gradient so water molecules are moving against this concentration gradient down this concentration gradient to the less low water potential area that's the concentrated solution that has more solute molecules right so less solute molecules high water potential more solute molecules lower water potential all right so you can see here there's also the explanation for this you can see more h2o and you have less h2o on the left hand side so that will means that means that more water molecules uh, will like the water molecules will diffuse from this side to this side okay so there's less sugar and more sugar here you can see this is the concentrated solution means less water and more sugar and uh, dilute solution means less sugar and more water so this will move here okay the water molecules will move down from this side to this side the sugar molecules they will stay as it is because they are large enough to not pass through the partially permeable membrane all right and right hand sugar side is the dilute solution again and left hand side sugar solution is concentrated solution so i hope that you get this what i'm trying to explain exactly all right guys that's it for the chapter um, in the next chapter we'll be learning about osmosis experiments 
um all, it's also very important chapter that's required for your igcse all the uh students who are giving their igcse exams so make sure you are aware of everything what is happening what is osmosis um how osmosis takes place what is a concentration gradient what is a partially permeable membrane and um solute what restricts the movement of the solute molecules so everything you should be aware of all right so make sure you are subscribed to the channel hit the like button comment down below so as per your suggestions we can improve our content and um, yeah that's it for today's video cheers